Hello, I welcome for this AWS uh, developing series. Uh, in this uh, video, I wish to demonstrate about this module 3 uh, knowledge check. Okay. This knowledge check contains about 10 questions where we need to get a, a, at least 70% correct and these questions are very very important for preparing for your uh, developing associate exam. So let us uh, start this. Uh, yeah. So let me start. See, a student is uh, learning about Amazon Simple S3 storage. During an interview, a potential employer asks the student to explain how S3 can be used as a storage location. Which option is a use case for Amazon S3? Uh, it is data. Use data. You have unlimited data you can store in this S3. Okay, that's correct. The second. A dash organizes MS3 namespace at the highest level. It is bucket. Okay. The third one. A developer wants to store image files uh, in a bucket that is called as images hyphen bucket, but receives the error bucket already exists. Which action must the developer take to resolve this error? So this is uh, what we can say buckets are globally unique if the requested bucket name not available the developer must rename the bucket this is the right answer yes this is right fourth one a developer is using amazon simple s3 to host a static website in a bucket that is called as frank hyphen martha hyphen k the bucket is in the us east one region which URL is the virtually hosted style URL for the website? Uh, it is HTTPS. Uh, what you can say? The bucket name is Frank Hyphen Martha K. Martha Hyphen K. Uh, you can say S3 website. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Website and uh, this is how you use Hyphen One Amazon AWS.com. Let me check. Yes, this is correct. The fifth one. After versioning is enabled on an Amazon S3 uh, bucket, it can be disabled. It is false. Yeah. Sixth one. What is the largest size of an object that a user can upload to Amazon Simple S3 into a put location, in a put operation? That is 5 GB. 5 GB is the maximum. Yeah, this is correct. Seventh one. A developer uses an Amazon S3 bucket. They want to allow a certain AWS IAM user to perform any S3 operations on the bucket and its objects. They also want to follow AWS recommendation for granting permissions. Which mechanism should the developer apply to the bucket? It is policy, bucket policy. Yeah. Eighth one, a developer wants to allow a user to download private objects directly from an Amazon S3 bucket without needing AWS security credentials or permissions. What can the developer share with the user to grant them time limited access uh, to the objects? So this can be done using this pre-assigned pre -assigned URL. Okay. Ninth one, which method can be used to encrypt Amazon S3 uh, objects in transit? So you can use this uh, TLS, secure socket layer slash transport layer secure. Yeah. And the last one, a developer hosts a static website in an Amazon S3 bucket. The website refers references image objects in another S3 bucket. However, these images do not display on the website. What could be the problem? So it should be the cross origin resource sharing has not been enabled on the bucket where the assets are stored. Yeah. Yes, this is correct. And we have completed module 3 with 100% score. Congratulations. 
Thank you and let us meet with module 4. Bye.